Yo, what is up guys? Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to use overlays and how to add them into your scenes to make them look dope. Today's tutorial is going to be a very beginner friendly tutorial. So if you're more of an advanced editor, honestly, this video won't be for you. But if you're just getting started in your editing career, I want to help you get started with just the basics because I remember being a brand new editor and trying to find the basic things, but no one was teaching the basic things. So hopefully I could help you out with this technique. So before we go ahead and hop inside the tutorial, I'll let you guys know that my name is Chris Bustead. I've been a full-time content creator for about half a year and I run the takeover editing shop. And that's where I sell editing assets and presets for content creators just like you. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started in today's tutorial. All right, so first things first, you guys wanna go ahead, of course, import your footage. We're gonna go over how to do this overlay effect just like this. So as you guys can see, there's an overlay. But when you do get overlays, it's not going to look like this. So how do you get it to look like this? First things first, you want to go and grab your overlays. I'm going to go over here to these overlays. Just I'm going to pick a random one. Doesn't really matter. We'll do that. And then we'll drag it and drop it into our timeline. Now, if we just play it through normally, it's going to look like this. And that doesn't look good. So first things first, my overlay is actually a 4K overlay. So we want to size it to fit our sequence. So 50% for 1080. And then if yours was like a horizontal overlay like this, it'll look something like that. Um, just go ahead and do negative 90 degrees um, if it's horizontal, but if not, then just leave it at zero. It's perfectly fine. And here is like literally the entire tutorial for overlays. You go to opacity and change the blend mode from normal to screen. You could also do lighten, but I'm going to show you what the screen looks like. because that's what I do 99% of the time. It literally looks like that. looks really clean, super fire. Um, I'm just going to go through and share a couple options. So there's lighten, not really a fan of lighten. In my opinion, it just doesn't look as clean as bright. There is one that's like difference. Difference is actually pretty saucy. And then other than that, like I really wouldn't recommend anything else. Um, like exclusion, I think is pretty similar as well. Kind of just does some unique things to like the whites and highlights, etc. But yeah, guys, so that is the entire tutorial. We literally did this in under like four minutes. And if you're just starting your editing career, feel free to scroll through all my past YouTube content because I literally teach you how to edit inside of Premiere Pro. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, take action, take over. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.